Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back into my kitchen. Today, I'm going to be making two meals, and I'm going to be making double portions. Most of you know by now that I do feed a lot of people. My children come over every week, and I feed them when they're here. And so, we are going to be making a breakfast casserole that is new to me about two weeks ago, and I've been making it, and they love it. This is what they requested, and so I'm going to make it. And one thing nice about all of this, you can make it the day ahead. That way, when my children are here, I'm not busy in the kitchen. I can actually spend my time with them. So we are going to be making the breakfast casserole, two of them, because our son wants to take one home for his wife. And then I'm going to be making a new casserole for me. I've never made it before. I'm going to make it double portions. That way I have it for two separate times this week for two separate occasions. As you know, we have a Thrifty Thursday when my daughters come and spend the day with me. And then we always have a lunch here at the home. All right, I'm going to show you what we do for the breakfast casserole first. One thing nice about these casseroles, you can make them ahead of time. And that way, you're not in the kitchen and stressing out when company is here and people are waiting to eat. All right, the breakfast casserole is really simple to make and I will have the recipes underneath my video or on the side of my video, depending on your device that you use. It just calls for a pound of bacon, 12 eggs, two cups of milk, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of dry mustard, four slices of bread, and one cup of grated cheese and you just throw it all together and it is amazing lots of people ask in previous videos what do i do with my eggshells i crumble them up really fine and we give them to the chickens behind me underneath me here i have all kinds of different buckets that go towards different things i have our trash can recycling bucket and then i also have a bucket where all of my chicken scraps go so each recipe calls for 12 eggs i'm just going to do one recipe at a time. I'm gonna crack all these 12 eggs and we're gonna add the milk and then I'll show you what we do on the next step. All right, we're gonna add one teaspoon of dry mustard powder. And then to that, we're going to add one cup of cheese. So basically we're making like an omelet. Now I always add a little more cheese in what things call for. And we're gonna stir this together. Now this is only making one batch, we are making two. We're gonna add a bacon. It calls for a pound. I didn't have a whole pound, so I'm just going to sprinkle it. Try to make sure it's more, make sure it's even amounts of bacon with the two pans. All right, now all we're going to do is pour this on top. It does call for a teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to give one shake and stir it again. Now we'll go ahead and pour this on top and let it sit in the refrigerator for 24 hours. All right, I'm gonna do this with the second pan and then we'll move on to the second meal. All right, the egg casserole gets baked at 350 for one hour. Now we're gonna switch gears a little bit to the Make It and Freeze It cookbook. I got this at the thrift store the other month. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to make a recipe out of here. We're going to make chicken cheddar tortilla bake. And I'm going to share with you the recipe below. Adapting this recipe to how our family, our taste. I'm going to give you the original recipe in the description box below. I am going to have a variation on it as far as we are not adding cumin to it. So, um, and I also did things ahead of time, so I am not gonna be cooking the chicken and showing that. But it calls for chicken and some spices, and then it calls for refried beans, then it calls for one can of refried beans, a can of diced tomatoes, tortillas, a can of corn, and shredded cheese. So I'm going to assemble all this, but if you want 
the original recipe, you can look below it. Every cook does things different. Some people follow a recipe exactly, while others like me, we use what we have and we adjust accordingly. All right, let's assemble everything. I am going to be making two because I'm going to be making it for two separate meals. This is a recipe that you can freeze before you bake it. So you don't bake it first, it says you freeze it before you bake it. But I am going to be baking mine because ours are going to be meals. Okay, so basically it's like lasagna what we're going to be making, except for, of course it's not lasagna. So what we have to do is we have to add the refried beans to the tomatoes. And that's going to be our liquid base. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up all of my refried beans. I'm going to pour a little bit on the bottom of each tray. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the tortillas. We're going to cut the flour tortillas just like this. And now we're going to put a layer of chicken and a layer of corn. It didn't call for the pimentos, but I thought I would add some pimento to it because I just think it makes it look pretty. Adds a little more flavoring to it. Just a small amount. All right, so now we gotta do is put the cheese on and then we have to put our crust on top. All right, everyone, and later on for lunchtime, I made the casserole and I made breadsticks, which will be in tomorrow's video, I think. I totally forgot to videotape the breakfast casserole puff. It was amazing. Everybody ate that so quick. But I wanted to show you the end of the casserole and me putting all the food out together. We had all kinds of salsa to go with the chicken bake, and then we had marinara sauce to go with the breadsticks. It was a yummy lunch and everybody enjoyed it and said that it was a winner, winner chicken dinner. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Do you get really hot sleeping at night? Well, this is the cover just for you. This is the cooling blanket. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. It's called the cool touch system. This is a king size blanket. And this is supposed to help keep you cool at night. It's a nylon material. It's very thin. It's very comfortable. It's very, very soft.